then I'll give you some handouts. So, okay. are you ready? Yeah. So this is, uh, take this off. first of all, you start with MOFA. And in the handout, it talks about, you know, you can do this faster, but you can also do it slower. So basically, I'm just feeling areas of this body, which they're for tension, for heat or for cold. This neck is tense, pretty tense. Um, there's tension and heat here. Of course, you know, that's that hump. That's where he's out of alignment. The muscles are tense there. We go down, go back. And he's, he's weaker on the back legs. Yes. Right. So now we're going to do Rofa. And that's these little circle massage with, with these, my fingers. Uh huh. And I'm pressing down a little bit. I'm going to go down his back. I'm going to start up at the neck. I'm going to do it either side of the spine. And I want to get those muscles loosened up. And I want to come down to these muscles too. Because because his back legs are weak, he's using the front half of his body more. Uh -huh. And he's got more tension in those muscles. Oh, okay. So we want to help relax the neck and the, you know, scalenes and stuff. So I'm, and I'm like, maybe an inch on either side of the spine. And Rihanna's going to hold him up. You can do this laying down. Uh, he doesn't have to be standing. It's just mm -hmm. here right now. But I'm going to do a couple passes again. Start up at the neck. You know, he might take his collar off for this. But on the sides of the neck to these muscles that are ridiculously tight. You can loosen it up any time. And I'm using a moderate pressure, not super light, but not deep either. But. Yeah. And you're actually doing acupressure too because the bladder meridian, where we put the acupuncture needles, is right where I'm massaging. So you, you're basically come back down to the pelvis. And you can, you can come down the legs a little bit. And you can tell these little guys are weak a little bit. Now I'm going to do, and I think I may have shown you this before, where you do the mm, rolling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that one actually is a stronger technique, as it turns out. It's not good to start with it. Sometimes it freaks them out if you jump right into that. So okay. this is the order to do it. So I'm going to drag my thumbs and walk my fingers. I'm going to come back up the neck, too. Do this 6 to 12 times. Um, gentle, fluid movement. You know what? You want to have your shoulders relaxed and your wrists relaxed. And you want to be in a... Kind of a zen space yourself because you're doing body work, you know. So if you're like having a bad day or yeah. you know, just take your time out, you know, Don't work on the dog. <laughs> yeah. But um, to do that, and then you can also do the same thing on the left sides of the legs. Come up on these legs, and then just rolling the skin. Actually, I'm gonna get this out. This is in my way. The side of the neck. Oh, you're naked. So I'm just doing that same rolling. Okay. Thing. And the shoulders a little bit. Now, I want to do something for the legs because it's like firewood. Okay. I'm going to do it with firewood. Okay. And you can do, if it's easier, you can do up and down or side to side. It might be easier to do up and down. So you want to bring the chi and blood down the leg. Okay. Both sides. Just kind of the firewood. And he runs kind of hot, so I, would, I wouldn't do this necessarily anywhere else other than these legs and the bottoms of the feet, this rubbing, because it does create heat. Yeah. But he doesn't have enough chi flowing down there. Now, the bottoms of the feet, you want to create friction because they're cold. Yeah. The chi is not getting down there like it should. So you just, you know, rub them on your palm uh -huh. until, you, until it heats up. And there's just two more things I want to show you. You don't have to do all of this, but if you can do the whole sequence, it's good. So then this one is uh, Nifa, Nifa, or Nefa. Anyway, they all have their names. I want to bend each joint in each finger on the back foot. Okay. Or toe, same thing, individually. So you want to hold this still and just bend that. Okay. Now you want to hold this still and just bend that on each toe. That really sends a strong signal to the brain. Hey, I have heat. You know, back here. So, hold it. you might come over here. Mm -hmm. So this joint is that joint. It's all the way up here. Oh, okay. And I'm holding this one still here. Mm -hmm. Go around, up and down. Now I want to do this joint, which is that joint. You can see this bend and a little bit in a circle. Now this joint, you're going to hold that still and just grab the toe. Okay. And it's pretty crackly in there. But this not only helps send a signal on the chi 
down to the feet. It also relates to the back, believe it or not. This helps uh, release energy in the back. So, and they're not that into it, but you know what? Too bad, because it's really, really strong. It doesn't hurt, and it's just, you know, oh he's, god, I yeah, gotta trim my nails. He's used to uh, him, me, uh, massaging the inside his pads. And, good, good. Yeah. So you're already doing feet. some of these things yeah. intuitively. Uh -huh. But, you know, the Twina is so old. I mean, it's, just, it's one of the five branches of TCM, like acupuncture or herbs, and it's just been around a very, you know, thousands of years also, and it's powerful. And the key is consistency. Okay. So. So, and then I'll just probably finish with, um, actually I want to do something that I'm probably not going to have you do at home. I want to do a okay. myofascial release. And then we'll finish with chief. Uh, I'll be right back. So G Fa is a lesson, so you're going to have kind of loose hands and just do some tapping. Just to bring the chi. Mm, okay, yeah. The neck, front of the neck, down the arms, down the back. You don't want to, you know, jar the kidneys yeah, too much. Yeah. You can pass by there, but don't just like da, 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 right there because okay. that's where the kidney will. Then down the legs. And this one doesn't matter, you know, you can go up and down. It doesn't have to be just in one direction. And then, I don't know if let you do gel traction. That's always a good one, too. The, mm -hmm. I think I've shown you that. Yeah. Yeah, before I had only taken like a one hour course in this, this was four days. <laughs> so I'm going to do a few things to show you. But, you know, 20, 30 seconds, gently release. Okay. So that's it. But um, okay. I'm noticing a big difference in the people that are consistently doing this on a daily basis. Okay. They feel better. Their backs are less arched up when they come in for treatments. Okay. Yeah, it's really been pretty amazing. You know, people get busy, and you know, I can always tell people are not doing it because they come in like this. 